Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Listen, I was sitting here minding my own business when, um, well, not minding my own business. I'm watching on Netflix, They've Gotta Have Us, uh, season one, Black in New Hollywood. So I'm on episode three. (sighs) It's crazy. But anyway, I get this notification. So you you know, I got to come in, tell you guys about it, right? So, um, they said Alec Baldwin shot somebody on set, um, just a little while ago. And it reminded me of, of, um, the crow, right? So I figured I would look into into this um, with you guys instead of just looking it up by myself, right? Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, Alec Baldwin, Alec Baldwin fatally shoots crew member. I told you with prop firearm. See, that's why it reminded me of Brandon. It reminded me of Brandon. He's buried. Um, in Seattle with his dad, Bruce Lee. Um, And, you know, it was a prop gun that was fired on the set of The Crow that killed Brandon. And that's just what I thought about. And I was like, oh, my God. This says it was two hours ago, actually, four hours ago, four hours ago. I don't know why I'm just getting the uh, notification. God, I hate looking at New York Times, but... Um... It says, um, Alec Baldwin discharged a prop firearm on the set of a Western. Who knew that they were making Westerns again? Not me. I didn't know that. Okay. On the set of a Western in New Mexico. I would call my friend in New Mexico, but I'm not talking to him. I blocked him. I don't like it when white people be gaslighting me about racism. They be trying to say, oh, I don't understand, or trying to say, calm down, it's not a big deal. You are no longer my friend. You are no longer my friend. Okay. So listen, it says, this happened in New Mexico on... Thursday, it says. What's today? Today is Friday. Hold on, y'all. I gotta, I gotta sneak. Okay, I'm back. Um, so it says, oh my God, y'all. It says, Alec Baldwin, Baldwin discharged a prop firearm on a Western he was making in New Mexico on Thursday. But it says that it it actually happened. Oh, it was updated today. Okay, so this is the update. That's what I got this in the, um, the notification for. Okay, so this is updated information. Um, killing the film's director of photography and wounding the movie's director, the authorities said. The cinematographer... Helena Hutchins, 42, was killed, and the director, Joel Sousa, 48, was injured around 1.50 p.m. on the set of Rust, which is being filmed in Santa Fe County, said Juan Rios, a spokesman for the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. The circumstances of the shooting are under investigation. Mr. Rios said the shooting at Bonanza Creek Ranch happened in the middle of a scene that was either being rehearsed or filmed. Oh, can you imagine if they got this on film? Lord Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. He said the sheriff's office was interviewing people on the set to determine how the two had been shot. We're trying to determine right now how and what type of projectile was used in the firearm, he said. Was this a freak accident or something more? Did somebody who worked on this movie knew that what was going to be happening in the scene and he wanted to take the director of photography out and the director? Mm. 
or was it just something weird? What is the plot of this movie Rust? Hmm, I wonder. You know, you never hear about anything paranormal happening in the wild, wild west, but I imagine that it did. Um, let's see. Mr. Rio said the shooting at Bonanza Creek Ranch happened in the middle of a scene. Okay. Let's see. Um, the sheriff's office has not filed charges against anyone in connection with the shooting. Um, you know, Alec didn't load the gun. It's somebody who worked on the crew. Okay. Mrs. Hutchins was flown. Uh, this is Helena was flown to the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque, where she later died. Mm, 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 mm. May she rest in peace. Lord, have mercy. Mr. Souza was taken to Christus St. Vincent Regional Medical Center in Santa Fe. Mr. Souza's condition was not immediately available, so we don't know if he pulled through or not. Uh, the film's producers and a representative for Mr. Baldwin, age 63, did not immediately respond to emails or phone calls on Thursday night. I know Alec Baldwin was probably shocked and then cu cursed the blue streak. You know how he talked. Oh, my God. In a statement, the movie's production company, Rust Movie Productions, LLC, said the entire cast and cre crew has been absolutely devastated by today's tragedy and we send our deepest condolences to Hel Helena's family. Oh, they're going to sue y'all. Okay, they're going to sue. And the movies always have insurance, so the insurance company is going to get a hit too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We have halted production on the film for an undetermined period of time and are fully cooperating with the Santa Fe Police Department's investigation. We will be providing counseling services to everyone connected to the film as we work to process this awful event. Mm -mm -mm. I know Lauren, uh, you know, the producer of uh, Saturday Night Live, I bet you he called Alec Baldwin to say, what in the heck? Because I know they're good friends, right? Lord, shocking, shocking, honey. This has been a week, you hear me? This has been a week. Okay. On Thursday morning, Mr. Baldwin posted a photo on Instagram in his film costume, which included what appeared to be a prosthetic wound on his torso. Oh, why are they making movies like this? I didn't. I never liked Westerns. My brother used to watch it. Um, the only thing that I used to watch, like my brother used to watch Gunsmoke and Maverick uh what else used to come on lord have mercy I, I i i know they had this one show about this father that was raising these three boys horse was one of them ha they called him haas and i loved haas he was just such a good natured big old muscle bound guy well he was just big and then adam who was smart and then joe little joe who was just the baby of the family and uh, very nice looking. Um, and then he went on to do, I think, Little House on the Prairie and then uh, the Angel Show. Oh, child. Mm -mm -mm. Westerns, they trying to bring that back. What is wrong with people? They need to let that one go, honey. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so go to sleep, kitten. Kitten is still awake too. She be trying to hang with me. Okay, so he posted a, a photo on Instagram in his film costume. Ugh, gross. According to Miss Hutchins' website, she was originally from Ukraine and grew up on a Soviet military base in the Arctic Circle. And she young. She studied journalism in Ukraine and film in LA. She called herself a restless dreamer and an adrenaline junkie on her Instagram profile. 
She posted multiple images this month from the set of Rust, including a video on Tuesday of her riding a horse on her day off. In a statement, John Lindley, the national president of the International Cinematographers Guild, and Rebecca Ryan, the organization's national executive director, called Miss Hutchins' death devastating news. The details are unclear at this moment, but we are working to learn more and we support a full investigation into this tragic event, their statement said. This is a terrible loss and we mourn the passing of a member of our Gill's family. A statement from the New Mexico Film Office on October the 6th said Rust Movie Productions would employ 75 crew members, 22 actors, and 230 background talent for this movie. Rust is a movie. Thank you. That was going to be my name. You know, I want to know what the plot is. So Rust is a movie about a 13-year-old boy who goes on the run with his estranged grandfather after the accidental killing of a local rancher. The movie, which was set to be filmed this month and next month, is directed by Mr. Souza and stars Francis Fisher and Mr. Baldwin as Alec Baldwin, who is also producing the film. Let's see, this is the New York Times, and Alec Baldwin has relationships with the New York who's who, the whole Manhattan, you know, folks. And, you know, SNL is filmed in New York. So this is a New York kind of a thing. And they are giving him the utmost respect uh, by calling him Mr. Baldwin. I make the difference, you know, the demarcation of calling him Alec because there's a lot of Baldwin brothers, right? So, um, and he's also producing the film. So stars Francis Fisher and Ali Baldwin are also producers on this film, okay? The shooting echoed an accident on a movie. I told you. That's the first thing I thought when I got the notification. I, the first thing I thought about was Brandon. The shooting echoed an ec accident on the movie set in 1993 in which actor Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, they're both buried in Washington State in Seattle. I have been to their grave sites. Mm -hmm. And it's creepy. Okay. The shooting echoed an accident on the movie set in 1993. I kind of thought that movie was shot before that, but maybe it was released. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Brandon was shot and killed during the scene when a bullet that was lodged in the barrel of a gun was discharged along with a blank cartridge. In 1984, the actor John Eric Hexham accidentally shot himself in the head and died when he was pretending to play Russian roulette during a TV scene. When they gonna learn, y'all? When they gonna learn? Ooh. Mr. Baldwin, an Emmy Award, Mr. Baldwin, Alec Baldwin. An Emmy Award winning actor has had a long career in movies, plays, and television he has. In one of his best known roles, he played Jack Donaghy, an oblivious, domineering TV executive on the sitcom 30 Rock, which ran on NBC from 2006 to 2013. He also portrayed Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, on Saturday Night Live with a custom-made wig, glued-on eyebrows, and puckered lips. <laughs> he and Mr. Trump sometimes sparred on social media. Mr. Ball, Miss, they keep doing that. Boy, I tell you, Mr. Trump, Mr. Baldwin, it's a New York thing. This is a New York Times. I hate their coverage, but anyway, it is what it is, okay? Um, that's the first one that came up. Okay, so... Uh, Mr. Baldwin also has a history of run-ins with the police. That ain't all. He got into it for calling his daughter a fat pig. Not a fat pig, but a pig. Because she wouldn't talk to him on the phone. He was upset about that. And him and his wife broke up. She was so beautiful. She was so beautiful. But he couldn't keep her. And now he's with another lady. 
uh, Hispanic lady, I believe, or she, she claims to be Hispanic. She's, she's Hispanic on the inside. So she claims Hispanic on the outside. Okay. So let's keep going. Um, he had, uh, Mr. Baldwin has a history of run-ins with the police. In 2014, he was arrested after he rode his bicycle the wrong way on fifth Avenue near 16th street in Manhattan. He was not carrying identification and the officers who took him to a station house charged him with disorderly conduct conduct after they said he became belligerent. See, so I know if he uh, accidentally shot some people and seeing that happen, I know he freaked out. I know he freaked out. And if the film was running, they have that on tape probably not the shooting because the camera would be pointed towards the set where uh alec is is doing his scene his scene so his reaction they would have that on tape and the tape probably kept on running with her being shot i imagine that the rest of the crew went to her aid and left the camera which the camera probably was continually to roll right lord have mercy Mm -mm -mm. So it says, in 2019, Mr. Baldwin pleaded guilty to harassment in Manhattan criminal court and agreed to take, I'm sorry, I was late, and agreed to take a anger management course in a deal with prosecutors to dispose of charges that he had assaulted a man during a dispute over a parking spot. And it's more than that, that, like I said, this is the New York Times, so they are being very, you know, kid gloves, because they, they love uh, Alec Baldwin in New York, I must say. Uh, this is supposed to be updated information, and I guess her passing away, nothing on the um, director. Oh, my God. What does it say? Okay, this is what the UK is um, recording. This is the independent. Whew. Everything is Alec Baldwin, Alec Baldwin, Alec Baldwin. Looks like he was also in Boss Baby. Yeah, they got nothing but Alec Baldwin on their page. Everything Alec Baldwin. So they're really rallying behind him. Um, ooh. Let's see what Coke got to say. Okay. See, they're not being as nice. Alec Baldwin shotgun that killed one, injured another on Russ movie set. So maybe they're going to give us the, the straight skinny on this. Yeah, they ain't calling him Mr. Baldwin or none of that. Who was shot? Um, I don't know why they would take them to two different hospitals, but they did. They took the lady to one and they took the man to uh, St. Vincent. Okay, this is, we'll get more information here. It says, the shooting happened at Bonanza Creek Ranch in Santa Fe, a popular filming location that has been the set of movies and TV series for over 60 years. This is weird. You know, mm -mm. this is weird, honey. Ooh, they need to get security, something. Okay, the first movie to film there was The Man from Laramie starring Jimmy Stewart. So this place has a lot of history, which means there's a lot of what? Minutia. It was also the set of Blazing Saddles, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs and Longmire. According to their website, the ranch has six sets on the site, including an entire town with 24 buildings. 
Santa Fe County deputies say actor Alec Baldwin discharged the prop gun that fatally wounded, you know. Okay, I'm not going to keep saying that. But these are young people. <sighs> Thursday's tragedy wasn't the first time there was an incident at this set. In April of 2016, an argument between two people led to a stabbing on set at this ranch. The victim said he had been arguing with his co-worker, James Ruelas, which you know his career is over. He said Ruelas called him into an empty room where he attacked him with a carving knife. The victim suffered minor injuries and Ruelas was arrested for aggravated battery. According to an Associated Press investigation from 2016, at least 43 people died on U.S. TV and film sets since 1990. Meanwhile, more than 150 were left with life-altering injuries during that time. But even then, those incidents were likely undercounted, the AP reported at the time. And while the misfire on, set, on the set of Rust is the most recent incident, it's not the first time a prop gun actually, uh, accidentally fired on a movie set. So but we know about that, okay. Again, they bring up uh, The Crow. So, says Brandon Lee's death garnered worldwide attention and prompted changes on how firearms are treated on sets. Yet, it also illustrates the paltry sums companies face after serious accidents. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, as OSHA, fined the company making the crow $84,000, but later reduced the penalty to $55K. The crow grossed more than $50 million. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what Variety has to say, because that's on the West Coast, right? Let's see what they got to say. Oh, yeah, they call him Alec Baldwin, Alec Baldwin. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you know me, I'm such a baby. Anyway, hold on one second, hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So it says... trying to see where I was oh that's variety send me a notification okay this is what got me I just oh y'all know how I am y'all I'm gonna try to be professional okay this is see more information see um it says Hutchins 42 was transported by helicopter Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. I got a burp. Okay. I'm trying not to be rude. So, Hutchins was transported by helicopter to University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque, where she passed away. Okay. Sousa, 48, was taken by ambulance to Christus St. Vincent Regional Medical Center in Santa Fe, where he received emergency treatment for his injuries, according to Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. Oh. So they're saying helicopter. That's normally life flight. Okay. Hopefully it wasn't just a regular helicopter because they wouldn't have life-saving equipment and stuff like that supplies on a regular helicopter, but they would on life, life flights. 
okay? Um, the sheriff's office said in a statement that Hutchins and Sousa were shot when a prop firearm was discharged, okay? The Santa Fe, New Mexican reported that Baldwin was questioned by investigators and was in tears. Ooh. Ugh, when a man cries, honey. Mm. You know me. Anybody cry, I cry. I, sometimes I just cry by myself. Depends on the words. I just, oh my God. Pray for me. Listen, no one was arrested in the incident and no charges have been filed. The office said detectives were interviewing witnesses and the incident remains under an open and active investigation according to the sheriff's office. Baldwin's reps did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Hutchins, Hutchins' death was confirmed by the sheriff's office and by the International Cinematographers Guild Local 600. I guess you could send condolences for her to the guild. We received the devastating news this evening. The one that one of our members. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Francis Fisher, one of the stars of the film, tweeted on Thursday night that Sousa had told her that he was out of the hospital. So the director is fine. Um, the production company issued a statement on Thursday night saying that the cast and crew are devastated. Okay. And they're cooperating fully with the investigation. It's a bad look, baby. It's a bad look. so they wanted to know what type of round was involved there's a person who handles the, the props and that person's going to get raked over the coals do you hear me okay uh However, the sheriff's office indicated that it was too soon to say what type of round was involved. The office also did not use the word accident, leaving that determination up to investigators. So they want to roll on this here, file some charges, get somebody locked up, honey. The sheriff's office is referring to this incident as a shooting investigation. Um, that detail will be addressed by detectives as they work their case. The sheriff's office did say that the shooting occurred during filming of a scene, so they got it on tape. I told you. According to investigators, it appears that the scene being filmed involved the use of a prop firearm when it was discharged. Oh, Lord. She, uh, Hutchins graduated from the American Film Institute in 2015 and had worked on several short films before shooting Arch Enemy, a 2020 feature starring Joe Man Manginello. Uh, you know, that's a really pretty Colombian actress's husband. They're both just gorgeous together. And I think they just had a baby or, you know, like right before the pandemic happened. Okay. Uh, so this lady was named a rising star by American cinematographer in 2019. She's a wonderful, positive, creative person that was so excited to be breaking through and making movies, said Michael Pessa, a cinematographer who was a friend of Hutchins. She was really on the upswing. Leslie Linka Glattner, the president of the Directors Guild of America, expressed condolences on behalf of the Guild. The DGA is incredibly saddened to hear the of the tragic passing of Helena Hutchins and the serious injuries sustained by DGA Director Joel Sousa in an on-set incident in New Mexico today, she said. We await further details and a full investigation. Our hearts go out to Helena's family, to Joel, and to everyone impacted. Sousa is writing and directing the the, we the Western, which also stars Jensen Ackles, 
Grady, Noon, and Travis Femmel. Albuquerque Station KLB 4's news helicopter photographed the incident showing an old church set blocked off and reported that set security confirmed it is on lockdown. Lord have mercy. And the, like I said, the set of the movie is uh, where Alec is playing an infamous outlaw, Rust. That's the name of his name, Rust, whose 13-year-old grandson is convicted of an accidental murder. Ackles plays a U.S. Marshal and Femel plays a bounty hunter who are on the pair's tail as Russ tries to break his grandson out of prison. 13-year-old. An unexpected bond forms between the outlaw and his estranged grandson as they go on the run. Thelma and Louise, huh? <laughs> CAA Media Finance and Highland Film Group were launching sales on the film at last year's Cannes, Cannes uh, virtual film market with Baldwin producing through his El Dorado Pictures banner alongside Angel uh, Najam and executive producer Matthew Helderman. Baldwin and Najam produced Sousa's previous feature, 2019's Crown Vic. I didn't see it. Did you see it? I didn't see it. Anna Gran Granucci is also producing with Elizabeth L. Barbatelli as an executive producer. New, Me New Mexico is a busy film location, yeah, we know. Um, 60 years behind them. Oh, Lord have mercy. So that's what it is, y'all. That is what it is. Let's pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Well, y'all, so there you have it. There's the breaking news. And so the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace, safety, and protection this day. Amen. Talk to y'all later. Bye.